Hello, our dear viewers. Welcome back to Connect with Mary, that talk show where we dive into the things that matter most in our lives. I'm your host, Arita Leti Shaltaya, and allow us offer our heartfelt salutations to His Holiness, Pope Francis, to His Grace, the Archbishop of Kampala, Paul Samuel Guerrero, and to the yet to be celebrated uh, 60 years in priesthood, Monsignor Dr. Lawrence Kanike, the parish priest, St. Jesus Catholic Parish, Chengira, and to all the clergy and the religious for the great ministry you're doing in us. Special, special regards to the youth chaplain, Chengira Masanda Youth Apostolate, our Reverend Father Vincent Seranico, and together with Deacon Dennis Senyondo, the yet to be ordained priest uh, in the near future. And we offer our prayers to you. Uh, before we go ahead, I would like to congratulate uh, Reverend Sister Anna Philomena Nachuala, who celebrated her, 50, her 60 years in sisterhood on 15th June 2024. Uh, thanks so much. We thank God for that great work he has done in you. And uh, we also pray for more years in service. Uh, and also, happy, happy birthday to uh, Nalongo uh, Joan Baine, the treasurer Senatus Uganda. Yes, much, much congratulations to you upon this new age. Uh, before we go ahead, our dear viewers, in the house with me today are guests from Chengira, Korea. Yes, brother and sister, you're most welcome to the studios of Uganda Catholic Television. Yes, and uh, we'll start with uh, a brief self-introduction. Thereafter, we shall have an opening prayer and we go ahead with our topic today. Uh, Yes, I would have started from my immediate right, but since they say ladies first, allow us start from the lady. Yes, our sister, tell us your names and your presidium. Thank you, Sister Rita, for hosting me here. Yeah. I'm so pleased to be here. My name is Jul Prini Julie. Uh, I'm from, I'm a, re a regionary from Queen, from Queen of Confessors. Okay. And a psychologist at Makerere University. Wow, I'm so honored to have a psychologist with us today at our talk show. And yes, brother. Mm, yes. yes. Uh, my name is Nwagawa Derek, uh, a regionary, eight years in regionary. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I look to be youth, but I've been there for quite a good time. And that is good. Mm, yes. Mm. Well, I'm in uh, Queen of Confessors, Chengera, pa Chengera Korea. Okay. Um, Yes, and apparently I'm a regional, not a, an auxiliary member, but mm. I'm a working member. Wow. Yes. Nice to have your brother and sister with us today in the talk show. And to our dear viewers, today we are here to talk about relationship goals. Uh, yes, uh, these relationship goals, we see that we are going to navigate through love friendship and family bonds. Uh, usually we know that relationships are always uh, uh, dive and build our lives today. And so let's try to look at uh, love, how this love and relationship, be it a friendship or a family bond, how it can be created with us today and how it can make uh, the fabric of the life today. Yes, and usually we know that since we consider these relationships the fabric of our lives. What makes them strong? What makes them more meaningful and also fulfilling? Yes, join me today as we are with our guest today as we start with an opening prayer led by, I think, Brother Derek should lead us yes. in this opening prayer. Yeah, it's my honor. Like, um, yeah, the whole pleasure is mine. Okay. But let's humble ourselves with the word of God in okay. the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O oh dear God, creator of heaven and earth, of the seen and the unseen, we thank you for this great day. We thank you for the opportunity you've given us to share to the world some of our great knowledge you've given us. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the good day you've given us and we thank you for you have accepted we be hosted here. We share lots. May you give us wisdom, understanding so that we can share and hope many lives and touch many lives there. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks so much for that wonderful word of prayer. Yes, yes, our dear viewers, as I told you earlier, we are going to look at relationship goals. And we are basically navigating love, friendship, and our family bonds as a young adult. So this is basically for the young adult. And now, back to our dear guests today. As we are talking about uh, these relationships together with uh, the term young adult, uh, how can we help the lay person out there know uh, what these relationships are and who a young adult is? Let me begin from you, our dear psychologist. Uh, who is a young adult? young adult is a person between the age bracket of 18 and 25 years. Okay. Usually these, uh, these people from this age group mm. always normally go astray when they, when they don't get parental guidance. Okay. So we as parents, we should always guide our, our children. Mm. We should learn to involve ourselves in their lives teach them moral val values mm. and sexual, uh, sexual education, not to leave everything to the teachers in schools. Okay. We need to guide our, ki our children. We need to give them religious values because they say charity always begins at home. Exactly. So if you impart in your child the Christian values, yes. everything will move on smoothly. Mm. Everything will go on well. Okay. We should support them in every uh, in every different aspects of life. Okay. For example, we see in the Bible, Mother Mary mm. always guided Jesus. Oh, mm. yes. So we see he w she was responsible mm. and took care of Jesus. Okay. Instilled in him religious values. We see Jesus. Jesus went missing for three days. Oh, in the temple. The temple yes, yeah, yes. in the temple. Okay. And thereby, Mother Mary took that responsibility mm. to go look for Jesus. Mm. You can find other parents, they don't bother at all. Looking <laughs> exactly. Even if a child doesn't come back home, mm. they don't bother. They Just don't know where the child is. Yeah. Yeah. But Mother Mary took that responsibility okay. and mm. went to the temple to look for Jesus until wow. she found him. Mm, okay, yes. mm. really, yes. It's, it's, it's a very a good wide. example, yeah. Yes. Mm, yeah, it's very good. I like her perspective. It's very, um, uh, I'm of the same view. Mm. But then, uh, to clarify, I think it's very good because mm. we are, this, this is a transition. This okay. age bracket, 18 to 25, is a transition from adolescence to adulthood. Yeah. And this is the very time where they need us. Mm. This is the very time they need guidance. This, at this moment in time, that mm. time when uh, they are transiting, mm. one simple mistake can lead to their downfall. Yes, but exactly. then one word can even bring them up to a good, uh, better future or yes. better people. Because yeah. they usually say they are the leaders of tomorrow <laughs> and <laughs> exactly. the church of tomorrow. Yes. yes. Mm. Wow, that is a really good one. So you've really painted us a clear picture that we see that uh, Mother Mary comes in to show us an example of who a good mother is uh, through parenting her son Jesus. Uh, like you said that uh, uh, during that time when uh, Jesus was lost in the temple, we see her taking that obligation upon herself, though they were together with Father jo Papa Joseph, uh, Saint Joseph, and they tried to look for Jesus in the temple. Wow. Now, this is a call to all motherhoods. Uh, to all mothers out there, please, we are told the young adult need us more. We should look out for them. So, and now, yes, at least we've exhausted what this young who this young adult is. What about a relationship? What, uh, how can we simply uh, clarify this to the audience out there, to the lay person? What relationships are we talking about? Is it basically romantic partnerships or relationships go, go, go in general and mean something else about it? Um, to talk about that, a relationship is a broad picture. So it was very good that we internalized for them. Yes. They should get to know 
the main the main point why we're talking about these relationships. Yes. They, they are a bit wide because the relationship is an interaction between one or two people exactly. or things. Mm. It can be your animals, your hobbies. <laughs> so it's a relationship. Mm. And, and there are various. We can talk about um, a romantic relationship between man and woman, husband mm. and wife. Uh, we Girlfriend can talk about and boyfriend. Exactly. Mm. And we can talk about uh, a familial bond. Mm. Yes. Sister and sister, yes, brother and brothers. brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we can even talk about a professional relationship. Yes. Co workers, Co -workers. I work with this one. Mm. Yes, exactly. Or even so, the friends. Yeah. Because it's also under relationships. Exactly. Okay. So and even the hobbies. We can have relationship with our hobbies. Okay. Yes. We relate with the environment. Exactly. It's okay. very wide. So basically, relationship doesn't mean that when we are talking about relationship, we are basically going to look at only the married people. Oh, yes. But we are catering for everything. It can be friendship. It can be a family bond and uh, and also a professional uh, relationship where we have co-workers working hand in hand. Yes. Wow. This is becoming interesting. So since you've talked about this relationship being a bond, between the uh, different parties and we see that we've also talked about a young adult now here comes our question what do you think is the most important quality you look for uh, uh, yeah, in a partner uh, to make a, a, a good uh, relationship what uh, what is the most important aspect of a good relationship in other words uh, on my side I think communication is the most and big most important aspect in okay. building a peaceful, stable, and a long-lasting relationship. Okay. If there is, a, there is communication in a relationship, mm. there will be no misunderstandings, okay. there will be no conflicts, mm. people will connect and understand each other, mm. it will bring that sense of closeness to each other. Wow. Mm. Okay. And there will be no discrepancies in okay. the relationships being either in marriage friendship mm. family because there is because interaction there is yeah, oh, interaction yes. okay. and that closeness eh? mm. so here like for example we see in the bible joseph mm. okay if 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 god did not communicate to joseph mm. about mother mary's conception, conception. Mm. Mm. joseph would have misunderstood Mother Mary. <laughs> exactly. There would be co conflicts. Conflict, yes. mm. And mo Joseph wouldn't have married Mother mm. Mary. Yes, so indeed. through because communication that that was because of that communication through mm. through angel. Angel mm. Gabriel, yeah. Mm. So it, it solved the conflict. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Because yes, yes. We can take a look. Something? Yeah. Her, her example is very nice. I don't know, but she's she, she has the picture of it. Mm. And if we to take a, a, a keen look in Matthew chapter one, verse eighteen twenty five. Okay. Uh, Joseph was disgraced. Mm. Joseph was feeling small, and remember they were engaged. Yes. Yes. So take a Yet picture. to be married. Exactly. And here comes, because I was asked, asked my brothers who are here uh, mm. on that topic of St. Joseph, uh, that uh, take an incident, this brother Derek, you're here, you're engaged to your partner. Yes, and we say that some time comes and the partner says, you know what, I'm pregnant, but this is for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Could you really take it up? Could you accept it according to our day-to-day -day life? No, seriously, apparently <laughs> Speaking, it's a very hard thing to concept. Yes. But then uh, we see in that verse, mm. to, uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter one, one, verse eighteen twenty-five. Yes. We see that Joseph took caution even before mm. the angel appeared to him to tell mm. him he wanted to divorce Mother Mary. Okay. But in privacy, oh. she didn't want. She didn't want her to get humiliated. So the verse talks about that private part whereby yeah. Saint Joseph wanted to divorce Mother Mary after hearing the news or. Before even the angel coming to him, okay, but after getting to know that she's pregnant, yeah. but then she he takes question. But mm. after the angel appearing to him, as you go mm. with the same verse, yes, uh, we see that he took it upon himself to mm. go to Joachim and Anne, yes. the, parents, the of parents of Mary, and then mm. we see the the person is marrying her oh, and yes. he's taking and her he in, takes her home. exactly to her and home for marriage. Mm. So, so, so there we are, no com communication. Joseph wouldn't have understood what Mother Mary. Mother Mary. Exactly. Okay. And she wouldn't have supported her mm. or married her. 
Okay. Yeah. So, so that wow. claim clarified everything. Because of the communication, yeah. we see that oh, yes. though, yeah, yes, we are human, but also God knew that I have to make this communication through yeah. to clear everything between yeah. Joseph mm. and Mary. Yeah. Wow, this is God. That yes. Those conflicts. Oh, okay. Yes. But then I want to contradict with my sister here. Yes. You know, communication is very strong and good, but then uh, I want to bring in trust. How about okay. sisters? What do you see? Because if it's very rare <laughs> to communicate with someone you don't trust very well, I would okay. ask you, Sister Rita, yes. like for real, <laughs> I don't think you would communicate easily with someone you don't trust. No, not possible. Because yeah, I can't yeah. trust you with my secret. Of mm -hmm. course, I have to first trust you, then I tell you about my secret in case there is any. Exactly. That's mm. uh, They said trust is a foundation. Mm. It's a foundation. It brings about commitment, okay. treasuring someone's commitment, mm. uh, liability. Someone okay. can rely on you. Mm. And, uh, you know, commitment is very wide. Because mm. me yes. telling you my commitment, that's like you committed to me. And uh, mm. you can... Uh, keep everything yes. so i think trust yeah. my sister it's a yes. very big it point about closeness. Uh, exactly okay. Uh, yes okay mm. wow this is good so in in general we see that uh, what you consider the most important in building a healthy relationship a healthy relationship like we said it can be friendship or a family bond so it's uh, uh, based on communication and trust is it only uh, I hear of emotional intelligence? Can anyone take us through that? What is this emotional intelligence? Because I see most people consider it as also a basic in building a healthy relationship. So I think apparently mm. emotional intelligence works more with, uh, as you hear it, okay. intelligence. Mm. It's beyond words that okay. I'll see someone according to their, the way their face is. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll have a sense in me. That's just, you know, I'm very honored and very happy that <laughs> Sister Rita, we are in the same presidium <laughs> in uh, Chengera, Korea, yes. Queen of Confessors. And that apparently we're in presidium meetings mm. and she's, she's a smiling lady, by the way, <laughs> ever smiling. So yes. apparently when I see her, that her face is frowned, that's the emotional intelligence. Mm. I know sister has always been happy, yes. but today her face is not fine. Yes. Then I take extra question okay. after the meeting. Sister Rita, what's wrong? Okay. Where is the smile you've been having? Yes. So that's the emotional intelligence. Knowing your partner, knowing your friend, okay. that you can read them without a word. Oh. So that's where it comes so, in. So with this emotional intelligence, you are reading someone's emotions. Even before they tell you exactly. their, their problems or anything, you can assess it from the expressions. It can be facial expressions. Wow. Okay. This is becoming that good. There is also an issue of open mindedness. Okay. So yes. when one is open mm. to each each other, mm. conflicts will always be resolved. Okay. There will be no misunderstandings mm. and it will lead to a stable relationship. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So exactly. we saw mm. one will know what a partner wants and what he because or she doesn't you're open want. To because you are open to one another. Okay. You are open to one another. It's wow. We've told point. him what you want it's and what you don't point. want. Yes. yes. So it's, it's a, good to be open it's very to one good. another. Okay. It's very good. Openness is very good, Rita. Okay. Yeah, you've seen it. <laughs> yes, it I is. know it in is our really child, good. childhood, mm. we grew up with our siblings. We normally fight. <laughs> yes. You know, it's it's very you hard to grow. You can be perfect. Yeah. Well, you can can be I ask yeah. you, sister? <laughs> so we are not always only. Let me ask you, sister Rita. Haven't you ever fought with your siblings or had any conflicts with your family members since you are speaking? It usually happens, it usually happens because remember we are all human and <laughs> yes, although even even Jesus got angry. Now what about yeah. us? Remember that time when he's uh, throwing away people from the temple, yeah. those who are making it the a tax market, they were the tax, so yes. Yeah. So if he, the divine being, uh, had to react, what about me a human? So yes, it's possible. So that that means that in every relationship mm. there will arise conflicts. Yes. But how do you handle those conflicts? Yes. Mm. How do you solve those conflicts? I should be open. Uh, I should let you know what 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 I don't like, yeah. what I do like, what has made me happy and what hasn't made me happy. Exactly. Wow, this is really great. This is really great. Thanks so much, our dear guests. Now we are talking of these uh, important aspects. Of our relationships oh, yes. but let's not neglect the fact that there can also rise misconceptions 
there are also different misconceptions about the relationships. So uh, if I may ask, what are some of those uh, misconceptions in our day-to-day -day lives that we see that they are affecting most relationships, they are affecting more friendships, so more marriage, marriage lives, and uh, due to some, uh, to some cases, what do you talk about that? So, um, I think mm. some, I'll go with a general one before I dive into the other <laughs> aspect. Yes. We can take a look at these women normally like to watch soaps, <laughs> telemundos. Exactly, the telenovelas, we are always there. Mm. So, th th that picture, it's not bad, mm. but then most of them, they want to drag what's there to a relationship. Exactly. Or even friendship. We, are, we cannot uh, like categorize only in a romantic one. Mm -hmm. But even friendship. You yeah. have your friend, but then you saw in the movie, this one was testing their friend like this, their mm -hmm. trust. And mm -hmm. you also want to try it on you. To but then you forget it. Is. <laughs> yeah. And then you're forgetting it's acted. Okay. They have, script, they, they have scripts they read and then go to act it and uh, display it on TV. And exactly on that point, brother Derek, I remember as I was growing up, usually my siblings are, ah, Leticia, you're, you're becoming more childish. You think whatever you're watching is what is present in that day to day. For me, I, I used to watch that and you picture it that it's what should happen in yes. my life as I grow up. I expect now, let's say for a marriage, I expect a man to behave like this with me, to be all caring and all that. For friends, I expect to have sincere friends, but of course we meet different people at different intervals. Mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, so... It's it's a, a bit overwhelming, you know. <laughs> it, <laughs> I, I had that picture because everyone mm. has had that in their life. Yes. But then, on um, another point, I will talk about like some of the misconceptions. Some people think mm. that your partner should meet all your all your needs. <laughs> exactly. exactly. You want them to be to feel your emotions, <laughs> then your physical being, yes. then uh, you want Fulfill them to feel you in all aspects. In all aspects. <laughs> And I think that's being egocentric. Yes. Like for you, you're being so self-centered. Mm. You're not giving Selfish, them. Selfish, yeah. in other words. You always yeah. grow up, you have what you want. Mm. But then, if the person doesn't have 10 of them, at least they have four. Yes. You can go with the four, then with time you can get the other <laughs> remaining ones. Yes. But then, uh, you want all of them at the same time. But mm. then he's human. He's not perfect. <laughs> yeah, you can you go. learn how to be appreciated. Exactly. <laughs> I appreciate them because of what yeah, they are. But okay. then, mm -hmm. mm. And then teach them in the time. You know, okay. model what you want. <laughs> but then uh, this one uh, wants everything. Yeah. And it's overwhelming. I want you to meet my physical needs, mm. my emotional, mentally. You have to know what I'm even thinking. Even needs. before even before expressing them, I expect you to know. Ah, it's her birthday. Uh, just like it's uh, Joe and Bainey's birthday, and I know that she's already expecting Salongo. So she she usually tells me a Salongo does everything. <laughs> so without expect, she expects a, a birthday party to mm. be made because that is with us ladies. We expect that that too much care, and we, we neglect that they're also people, they're also humans, and you never know if someone has that half of it. Yeah. At least go with that. You can at least yeah. go with it. And okay. the other point is that. Some people think conflict is a sign of a failing rela relationship. Okay. That's, uh, that's a misconception. Because it does it, because every, every conflict arises mm. in every relationship. Okay. But then, if you conceive it in a way that every misconception or every conflict we get, mm. our relationship is doomed. So, <laughs> how, for how long will you move in? Mm. Like from one to another, from to one another. to another. You're so, not even settled. Exactly, you know. I think we should all learn to how to sit down with each other with mm. our partners with our friends and learn how to solve our issues okay. openly mm. Mm. calmly without conflicting in with one another okay. and in that there comes a point of communication okay because if you sit down don't interrupt someone when well he or she is still, still. talking to okay. you mm. we should have the that Communication and listening skills. Oh. Don't interrupt someone before he or she yes. completes this. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. even uh, at times these conflicts mm. are coming to make you stronger. Okay. You know that saying which goes that uh, what doesn't kill you makes you, makes stronger. you stronger. As long as you're not dead, it's giving you room to mm. strengthen your bond, okay. to know your partner. Yeah. That last time I did this. He was not happy, okay. but we not break up. We mm. are still together. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's yeah. very hard. 
Wow. Profits are bad, mm. but in uh, in another way, they are also good because they help us to grow. Okay, oh, wow. we, we learn from our mistakes. So we shouldn't we shouldn't neglect them. That yeah. no, in my in my relationship, in my friendship, I really pray that I don't get any misunderstanding with yeah. anyone. Yeah, it's <laughs> just it's learning it. how to solve it. Yeah, okay. Okay. without it's going into any conflict, further conflicts. Okay, yeah. it's a, it's a very good point. But then mm. my other misconception is some people take jealousy for a sign of love. <laughs> oh. Have you heard that? <laughs> No, please. Yes, because jealousy is often uh, mistaken for love and passion. Mm. Cause, uh, but they are forgetting mm. jealousy can break trust, mm. yeah. can break communication. Hey. Yes, because yeah. if I'm jealousy, let's say sister Rita, I have someone I'm looking to. Mm. Then uh, I find I find her with someone. I've mm. I've not taken question. What are they talking about? Yes. Maybe just you know, I'm always with you because yes. we are regionaries. We yes. do work. We are sent to do different work. Okay. But then if someone sees sees you <laughs> working with me Gross because jealous. of jealous, yeah, it mm. creates, yeah. creates that mistrust. Yeah, okay. mistrust, and it can even break a relationship. Yeah. So yes. people misconceive that for mm. jealousy to be love. To be love. It's so in other words, we should learn how to trust one another. <laughs> exactly. You're breaking trust and communication. Wow. Yeah. Wow. These are some of the basic misconceptions we've been looking for in solving issues to do with uh, relationships. Wow, it has been really great having you, but before we go ahead with this, allow us, our dear viewers, to take a very short break and thereafter we'll be right back. Yes, our dear viewers, welcome back from that short break. And as we're still talking, we talked of uh, some of the basic aspects that uh, really boost our relationship to be healthy. And some of those were communication, trust, uh, being open-minded and emotional intelligence. And we also looked at the various misconceptions that uh, happen in, in the relationships today. It can be a friendship, it can be a family bond. But allow me before we go ahead with our discussion today, uh, thank uh, those who are supporting this uh, program Connect with Mary. Thanks so much for honoring us and for always being there to support us in this our uh, work. To the Uganda Episcopal Council, thanks so much. To Sinatus Uganda, we really appreciate. And it's a call out to everyone who would love to support more this program Connect with Mary and also the works of Uganda Catholic Television. Please uh, dial the number on your screens for more information. Also, uh, let me take this opportunity since I'm um, with Chengela Korea. Let me make this up for the youth. And we are talking about the young adults who are the youth. Yes, Chengela is organizing a campfire. Uh, this is for the youth, yes, and basically it's Chengera Masan, the youth apostolates, who are organizing a campfire they have called a choto for the youth all over. Please, uh, we can't wait for August 30th uh, when this event will, will commence and we call upon every youth to attend and be with us in person. We will be enlightened by with the guidance of our chaplain, Reverend Father Vincent Serenico, together with Deacon Dennis Senyondo, who is yet, who is still asked for our prayers as they are yet to be ordained priests. Thank you so much. So, our dear guests, yes. we are back. You've really uh, exhausted what we wanted to know about the important aspects that make a healthy relationships relationships together with uh, the misconceptions uh, people have usually in uh, relationships, in uh, marriage, in friendship and family bonds. But let's not also ignore because uh, how can you create a relationship without knowing what we really need in a partner, what we really need in a friend. So this brings on our next question, uh, our discussion question. What do you think are the qualities uh, that you look for in a partner? It can be a partner, it can be a friend, it can be also a, a professional uh, 
sister or brother, a co-worker. So what are some of those qualities you should look at uh, before creating that bond with anyone? Uh, okay, I look, I look for an aspect of good fearing. One okay. who is good fearing because okay. If one is God fearing, mm. there are some characters he or she won't display. Okay. When one has been instilled with those religious values, mm. okay, there are some characters he or she won't display. She or he will be respectful. Okay. Mm. You can find he will he or she will be like in let me say in marriages mm, yes. or fear to divorce. To carry out divorce <laughs> because mm. there has been For fear of with these values. Yes. Yeah, okay. but a person who is not God fearing, who has <laughs> can initiate yeah. for divorce there and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, <laughs> and actually, he or she won't be respectful. And Believe actually, people that. don't know that a divorce. We we really we really disagree with divorce. Yeah. According to the Catholics and the uh, Christians, yeah. divorce is not even the New Testament. a solution. Yeah. The New Testament. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was accepted in the old. Mm. According to laws yes. of Moses, when yeah. the covenant yes. was renewed, when the covenant was renewed and yes, uh, by Jesus, yes, mm. and he shed his blood for us, mm. we don't we discourage it. Yes, I think there are better are. ways to resolve. Mm. Okay, problems. and those people are always not respectful. You okay. can find them some like they criticize you in public, okay, eh, before everyone. This this character is really bad. It makes you feel so small okay. when someone criticizes you in the public okay so i think i like i like someone i will go for someone who is god fearing okay honest mm. who is trustworthy yes. who is able to support me mm. and who is able to trust me because mm. if trust lacks in a relationship that it relationship can't for go. sure it yeah <laughs> <laughs> it can't yeah, last. Can but is see. it even common? Like, <laughs> is it really a hundred percent? Can we really assure that in relationship we have uh, trust is accorded at the first priority <laughs> in everything? Is it really common? Yes, <laughs> but uh, you know, you know, interest. To what vary. extent? What percentage? I think it it should be it, to a serious relationship. It should yes. be one hundred. But, but though. Right yeah. now, considering oh, now. Oh, for right now, yes. every people have their own benefits. Okay. Like soft benefits. But I think these are uh, likes and what, and uh, these, as these aspects mm. vary according to what someone wants. Okay. So it's neutral. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And also, someone who is affection affectionate, okay. who is supportive, who will be able to support my goals. Eh? Yes. yes, by the way. And my fine. goals, my views, eh? mm. not to. I can't but I even tell someone so who should will support me in my mm, dreams. Yes. But remember, no. now, now uh, Julie, uh, will this person only be supportive to you or will you also be supporting to of this person? Of course I will be supporting him <laughs> or her. Because, yeah, mm, mm. because usually we see that mm. women think uh, they expect men to support mm. them. <laughs> and they, you know, yes, we know this character of yes, ours. Yes. We are always uh, expecting men to give in to us. Yeah and uh, forgetting that they are also what they are also human and so if we are asking for support mm -hmm. i think partners should both be supportive mm -hmm. in this case mm -hmm. uh, we see that uh, the, the, the partner the male partner should be supportive mm -hmm. let's say a husband should be supportive to his wife and likewise for the wife mm -hmm. and even to friends because i think uh, can you talk about that a uh, friend friendly uh, support how can we derive that of a friendly friendly oh. support for for that one mm. it you know we're talking about all the various relationships mm. and uh, mm. i want more to hit on the friendship okay and uh, we can see that i have uh, i should have a supportive friend who is going to celebrate my success yeah who is going to give me a shoulder mm. exactly when i need it you know that's the friendship part of it okay. a friend a friend who would encourage me not who discouraged me yes. a friend who told me this is wrong mm. however much is is wrong eh? he mm. will tell you it's wrong not a friend who will sugarcoat you with lies <laughs> exactly. just because to make and you happy and in the back and, and in, in the, the back, back he is ready to stab it. you exactly. when you stand he has a knife to stab you yes. but then if we get this friend mm. they're open to you they say sister rita you're wrong you yes. made a mistake yes. don't sugarcoat me with what with yes, just with happy things yes, yeah to happy make things me happy, but yeah, to make me happy life. but then the supportive part can be both negative and positive yes. it can be good and bad it's yes. not even bad but it's all 
good that Sister Rita is like, Derek, no, that's, mm, not, good. that's not good. Yeah, you mm. shouldn't behave like this. Derek, and, no. And even yeah. I think it applies to the family bond. Yeah. Because even a sister can be supportive, a brother, a mother, a father can be supporting. Because now we are looking at all these these relationships, where, uh, yeah. these relationships we, we make, uh, be it in a family, in a f uh, the outside environment we are looking for. Yeah, exactly. I remember, I think, I think you also have someone, a, a family, a sister who mm. has been supportive to you. I think you do have a brother, a sister who has been supportive to you in any way, just like me. And for me, I, I don't know because I like that thing about. <laughs> about I used it. I used it too much. You say, Your as sister. a baby of the family, have to get this. <laughs> so you get support from everywhere. Yes. You get from all angles. You have to be supported. Yeah. Yes. That's in psychology. Eh? Mm. We have that aspect of reciprocity. Okay. Mm. If you want me to, it's like give and take. Okay. Well, it's you nice, want me yes. to support you, mm. you should also be, you should sure, also I have in return. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. It is give very take. good. Oh. You, support you, me as I also support you. Okay. You were asking yeah. about that very sister. So yes. Again. It's always <laughs> there. Hey. I have my sister Daphne, Katsime hey. Daphne. She has always been there. She, she's even turning to my other mother. <laughs> Exactly. Away from my mother, she has been yes. supportive. And Bagand, I like Baganda sayings. Mm. Baganda normally sent in. Oh, yeah. That's a family bond. I can advise my dad yes. and my mom mm. when they are wrong. And yes, and it doesn't say that uh, uh, some people say <laughs> but uh, we are taking that away because mm. uh, 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 it's a diverse economy. Yes. We say a lot of aspects and mm. now we can change a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So yes. So um, besides that, besides that, okay, there is also that aspect of maturity. Okay. You really need someone who is mature. Eh? Yes. Because if you get someone who is mature, mm. he will build you up. Okay. All his, all his ideas, all her <laughs> ideas, mm. will be that strong. Will build mm. you and up. Developmental. Eh? Mm. And developmental. Mm. Yes. Yeah. For ex for example, here when let me okay take an example when one lives his or her own parents yes. to go and live together with his partner. With no. partner. You should, so if you've decided to leave your parents mm. home and move out to, with your partner, mm. you sh there are some aspects you have to leave behind. Okay. Those childish <laughs> childish <laughs> behaviors. Yes, eh? Like, like... Mm. <laughs> you give us examples. Give for, us example, an example. Clubbing, for example, if you've been club, clubbing before when you're marriage, single, when you're yeah. single, yeah? yes, you have to forego all those because now you've decided to move <laughs> on with your partner, coming back home late. And yeah? at times you go those, clubbing alone. What if yeah. what if I go clubbing with my partner? Huh. What is that? But uh, to me, it's I think. Uh, you know, you know this maturity. I, it was not very well cl clarified. Mm. But then there is maturity, physical maturity. Okay. Mm. So, uh, I don't know what maturity was she diving in. Mm. But then, this physical maturity, you look at someone, they have beards. Mm. And they are, they are mm. huge. And, you know, that's also maturity. No, not mm. But then there is mental maturity, yeah, yeah. where someone is mental. Even if their appearance looks young, but then their ideas are very yeah, sharp. I choose exactly. That. exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, that's, what, that's the point I want you to dive in. Okay. Away from, I, w I want to be more of controversial with her. Mm. She's diving into relationship. But, mm. but then I want to give you an aspect of friendship. Mm. It leads us to the other point where that this person is mature and they have been through what you're going to go through. Okay. So this person is going to tell you. They are not going to lie to you. They will say, Sister Rita, you're going for this, but this is the consequence. Yes. You know, most of the times they always say, mm. we choose what to do, but we don't choose the consequences. Mm. The consequences choose us. Mm. So She's going to tell you. She's going to be open because her mind is way mature than yours. Remember and uh, the ones always we are getting from like Sister Justin usually because she's uh, she's yeah, the now the form of, of the Paris. <laughs> so she's always telling us, please you youth, you're going in for this. But ah, exactly. Of course, there is. It's good, and she advocates for it. But again, yes, she does a great job. By yeah, the yeah. Way. I we thank want her. To applaud yeah, her. Applaud Sister her. Nasuna Justin Kasumba. Kasumba. Thanks so much for that work you're doing in the youth. Yes, brother, please proceed. Yeah, so sister, I had forgotten about that. But then she's she's a very big figure in the youth. Because yes. uh, we are honored that we have her in the same presidium, <laughs> exactly. the Nava Fum of Chengela Parish. Yes. So she's doing a lot of work. Her mentors are very high. Mm. She's telling us what she has seen. So mm. we are not starting from scratch. 
we are starting from experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we, we have that experience from her talks. She's guiding us, mm. our president. And even though we share as yeah, regionaries, I like the bond them. with regionaries, yes. the friendship. Indeed, and that's uh, why we're called sisterhood yeah. and sisters and brothers. All Uganda. Uganda <laughs> yeah. brings it very well. Yes. It's very nice. But then I want to contradict with her. And uh, I think even when I'm selecting someone, I think I should get someone reliable and dependable. Okay. How? Yes. Someone you can depend on, you can rely on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Someone uh, who will be one call away. Okay. She can be fixed. He can be fixed. Mm -hmm. But then there is this person, at least they can uh, put something aside if it's a serious issue. Mm -hmm. Sister Rita, we have been through some depression. Yes. And uh, there is that person you always say, if mm -hmm. I call this person He'll seriously, he will be there, he or she will fix sometime. Mm -hmm. But uh, this de de dependability is very good. Because you follow commitment mm. and maintain consistency. Yes. See, this person is going to encourage you. Because okay. depression is bad. We have seen. And according to statistics, way back, we had uh, statistics of uh, suicides. Mm. 5.1 uh, 5. 5 mm. and 1.7 mm. were, were women, females. Mm. And the other percentage, they are men. And you are seeing these men, maybe it will be a topic for another day, how yes. to help the boy child, how to help the men, how to promote them. Sister, okay. you know about that. Yes. But then uh, that will be a topic for another okay. day. But then le let me drive to that point that someone who is dependable, someone who will be there for you, mm. the same point, give you a shoulder when you feel down, mm. when you want to be advised, and a lot of stuff. I like that. Okay. It's really nice. Wow. Thanks so much. Now. We've been exhausting these qualities. We looked at the misconception and together you've been telling us of the different conflicts around. Oh, yes. So, but uh, we are not talking about how to solve these conflicts. Mm. So, how do you handle the conflict or misconceptions in a relationship, in a, it might be in a friendship or in a family bond? Yes. As sisters, we could have a, a conflict. How do we solve this? As a friend, I might have a conflict with you due to some sort of misunderstandings. How should this friend help? Uh, yeah. How can we help this person solve this conflict with a friend? And likewise for the marriage partners. Um, about that point, I'm of a view that in every misunderstanding be it a conflict mm -hmm. i think we should practice empathy and understanding each other okay. try putting yourself in that person's shoes before you judge them okay. fit them fit the shoes and like know know how heavy they are mm -hmm. at times i see people uh, you lose someone and they're like sister rita r.i.p we are really with you but then they won't feel that very they are with you in yeah words. in <laughs> words they can't feel that shoe that you're carrying you yes. know so this is the thing i'm saying we're having a conflict mm. dive into it okay. fit in the shoe know how heavy it is mm. everyone is human and yes. we all make mistakes yes. understand them fit in the shoe we can even see it's a it's a perspective that is very good we can see that mother mary demonstrated it very well okay. this woman readily accepted and understood the assignment oh. and he accepted to take on jesus okay. and give birth to him mm. you think she wasn't busy <laughs> sister Rita, can we of give you another she... responsibility <laughs> you see oh. <laughs> like any other you just hear and kaboom Without someone comes in prepared, ah. you say I'm but ready. She was ready. Mm. She can and be humble as you approach someone. Ephesians, Ephesians four twenty, Ephesians four two talks about it. Mm. Be humble and gentle as you approach okay. someone. Yes. At least take extra caution. Mm. Give them time. You know, mm. understand them. Mm. I don't know if you have to clarify on that point before I mm. hint in another one. Okay, mm. on that point, yes. you should one should save what you are going to say, the do's and don'ts. Okay. Eh? Not being in a bad mood, you are angry, you just talking <laughs> how. Eh? Yes. Eh? Because those words that come, those words that come from your mouth, yes. they might in some way hurt your partner, yes. your friend, your relative. Mm. Hmm? In other words, when we are quick to, to mm. speak, uh, mm. because we are, we are, I'm already angry and uh, I don't allow room for this uh, thing, yeah. and I'm just yeah. quick to speak, I, I can, in that anger, I can say something out yeah. of anger, but actually I later regret it. Yeah. So we should save our words. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's a very nice compliment. Well, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, some people just talk, you know. Mm. Yes, but also 
comes back to the upbringing of someone. But then let's dive into cultivating for peace and uh, patience and listening okay. attentively to this person. Mm. I've wronged you. But then take a question, why did I? Mm. Listen, maybe way back you did something that didn't make me happy. Yes. And then listen to them. We, we usually see it, it portrays with Mary. Mm. Mother Mary was like very, very a, a honorable woman. Yes. You know, she took question and listened to what the angel is the telling angel her. Is saying, yes. You know, something appears to you, you don't know that. You know, <laughs> she, she takes question and uh, she, she's giving the angel time to okay. talk, mm -hmm. you know, to listen. You know, most of the times they say, as an intelligent person, intelligent person, take more of listening than talking. Than talk, okay. Yeah, because you call, you take in and mm. uh, than letting out. Okay. So it's a very good point that Mother Mary was like, you know, mm. it you can you can even seek for like um, you can seek for peaceful resolutions. Okay. Yeah, How? resolutions that are peaceful. Yes. Sister Rita, instead of yeah, you you wronged me. Ah uh, no, we are going to court. No, <laughs> Sister Rita, I'm not accepting. We are going to court. This has to be resolved in court. In court, <laughs> but then. At every parish, we have our priests. They are yes, there. Yes. And, and Jesus talks, it, talks about it in the Bible, the mm. stages of reconciliation. Mm. Go to someone, meet someone. Then after, the final, go to those people. Mm. They That's can help you. Spiritual, uh, they, spiritual. they can even spiritual directors. directors. Yeah. Regionaries, you, mm. you, you always have that spiritual person. Yes. But then you can seek, you know, so that you can live at peace. Mm. You can even get uh, in, uh, in Romans 12, 18. Okay. It's talking about live at peace. Hmm. So, which piece are you going to portray it? And I've taken it to court. <laughs> well, I've already resolved <laughs> it. Yeah. It's already fire. <laughs> sister, you're going to be jailed. Your hmm. mother won't like me. Yes, exactly. Your sister won't like me. So, yeah. which piece is Romans bringing to us? Hmm. And we want to resolve those issues exactly. in court. Exactly. It's, it doesn't portray anything good. Yes. Hmm. Yes. But uh, I'm of a view. It's, we can even try seeking guidance. Guidance through how? It can mm. be through our spiritual directors. Yes. It can be through prayer. Mm. You can even pray to God. Exactly. You know James, James 1.5 mm. talks that God says, if you don't have wisdom, you mm. can ask for it. God can provide. Yes. So that's the wisdom and understanding we need. Mm. So if we can seek for this guidance, divine guidance, we can at least resolve them in a way that is very good. Mm. That we can, we can even... Uh, Remain friends. It doesn't necessarily mean if we have a disagreement, we have to be enemies. Yes. Yeah, we can say, Sister Rita, we, we were dealing in the same business, we are no longer dealing in the business. <laughs> but we remain friends, friends for yes. that, mm. but for the business, we are not sharing. Yes. I don't know. It's a, it's a good one. I mm. think that doesn't mean going to the social medias, public, public, uh -huh, public yes. problems, eh? for that, everyone. That is the trending one. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's really bad. We should sit at, between be, the two of us. Mm. Sit down, solve our issues amicably mm. without going into any war, any misunderstandings. Yes. I think that will work best. Hey, it's, it's even love. Yeah. Corinthians, first Corinthians 13, is telling us about love. Yes. You can, dear viewers, you can go read it. Know what love is. Yes. You can't say you love me. Different and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Love. You, by the way, all this. Uh, generally surrounds love. Mm. You can't love me and fail to forgive me. Yes. yes. Exactly. Yes. Mm. This, Jesus was being scourged. Yes. Exactly. So can we give you a test? <laughs> no, I can't. Can we can <laughs> we give you a test? It's not something. <laughs> exactly. How can you scold me? Eh? Mm. You pushing that mercilessly. me. You pushing you me. Push me. But then you uh, crown me with sons and then I come, I say, God, please forgive them. Really, it's really something. <laughs> it, it's very and good. And further, we see that also Mother Mary comes in to forgive those who who crucified her son. Yeah. Remember that, uh, yes, even though these disciples had uh, betrayed her son, but remember, we still see her coming back, in the upper welcoming room. them in the upper room yes. and gathering together, then calling them her children because uh, she portrays that aspect of being a mother and calls upon everyone. Though, so that is forgiving. She yes. forgave them, though she was sorrowful mm. for betraying her son. Yeah. Wow, it has really been great hosting your dear guest. I know we still have more mm. to exhaust, but really, it's, we are time bad and we are caught up with time. 
So our dear viewers, that's all we had for today. And I want to thank our dear guests, uh, Brother Derek and uh, Sister Julie. Uh, thanks so much for your shared insights and experiences. Really, you've made something. I know that viewers out there have got something to learn. And also, I thank you all, our dear viewers, for being attentive and being a part of this conversation. So, uh, Brother, before we close up, and uh, Sister, uh, do you have uh, some regards you're sending out there? It can be to a husband, a wife, a friend, a parent, so wherever. Please send your regards. Um, thank you, Sister Rita. Yes. Uh, <coughs> me, I would like to send my greetings to my, to my lovely mom, mm. my children, Selunjo mm. John Meriviani, mm. Lucavia John Mary Raphael, yes. Namo Maria Esther, yes. Nasiwa Juliet, all my sisters and brothers, mm. Mm, and Metron Namusoa Harriet from Sapro Kagwa, <laughs> yes. Old Kampala. Greetings mm. to you all, all my friends, Pe Teddy Nam Peo. I love you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is great. Yes, brothers. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's nice hearing that. You know, most of the times we are given <laughs> the last regard. Yes. We normally dive into our relatives. <laughs> yes. You know, mm. but then I, it's. I, I, I forgot to send yes, greetings. Uh, I send my greetings also to Moses and to Jay. Hey, hey, <laughs> love you all. Moses, why don't you specify for us? Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Maybe somewhere there is another Moses and Yes, you know. They, they feel <laughs> applauded yes. if they are not the one. <laughs> yes, Moses please. B. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I ask one? Yeah, I was saying, you know, we normally dive into our parents, and this is the topic we have been talking to. We dive into our families, and mm. uh, that's the, the beginning, that's the preamble of the relationships. That's where the bond starts from. Because, yes. Rita, you were born, you don't dive into a romantic one, mm. you yes. don't dive into friendship, exactly. no? It starts with a family. So that's why I'm uh, very applause that mm -hmm. she's, you know. I'm, family uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm also going diving into the same thing. Mm. I send my regards to my dad, Mr. Baguma James, wherever mm. you are. Mm. And wherever you're viewing from, I, la I like you so much. You've been a good mentor to me. My okay. mom, to know Michelle Pross in Chengera, also a legionary. You know her? Well, yes. Yes. Saba Christo. <laughs> yes. Uh, like... She's a good woman. She has mentored me both with my dad and they have taught me what I am. Mm. And they have taught me to love Mother Mary and mm. become a regionary. Yes. For all the eight years I've been in the uh, region of Mary, yes. it has been my mom teaching me the values, mm. how to behave, what the regionally does, and uh, the best aspect of life. I mm. thank her. Then I thank my sister, Katsime Daphne, whatever mm. she's, she is. I thank her so much for being mm. the second mom. <laughs> okay. Away from yes, helping me. Uh, away from helping me and supporting me. She has been advising me. Oh, what a really? wonderful elder sister. Yes. Some older sisters are neglect their young ones. <laughs> but then I think she has known mm. beat I was stubborn at some point, but she was like, No, you have to grow up like this. Yes. Exactly. Wow. So I thank her so much. I thank Jeremiah. My baby boy, you know, yes. Daphne's boy. Okay. Uh, Jeremiah, thank you for being a good boy. Mm. May the good Lord keep you. We also thank you, CTV. We thank you for hosting us okay. and giving us a platform to share to the world mm. all our great ideas. This is not yeah. our wisdom. This is a wisdom from God. As we have heard, seek for wisdom. Proverbs teaches about wisdom. Mm. Uh, we thank you for hosting us so that mm. we can share with all these people for the rest of the world. They can know. And they can also get from us. And we are very sure this this program has impacted enough on you the youth. Send greetings to your president. My president? Uh, president George William Chagaba, I like <laughs> you so much. Uh, for <laughs> By the way, let me send all of it to the presidium. Hey. Queen of Confessors. Yes. All of them. I won't mention names. We are very yes. many. We even have auxiliary and members. <laughs> and we are time bad. But then I like you so much. The whole mm. courier. Chengra Korea, headed yes. by Mr. Kaiga Dennis, our yes. president. We are very honored, and yes. all you executive. Wow. I thank want to thank, 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 thank you. One special regard to one special regard to Mr. Lukavia. Mr. Lukavia, look. Thanks for being supportive to us. We love okay, you. yes, our dear viewers, thank you so much. Special regards to Mrs. Jean Frances Lutaya, to all those from Osiro. Thanks so much for watch watching. Henry, Wamala, Henry. 
and to all our dear viewers. Yes, our dear viewers, remember that relationships are the fabric of our lives. And as we've heard today, that relationships are a journey, not a destination. They require effort, communication, uh, open-mindedness, in emotional intelligence. So investing in them is investing in ourselves. Yes, let's take it upon ourselves to nurture our own relationships. Not forgetting all those who are always there with us, our dear elder sisters, like he said, Nalongo Dungo and everyone. You see that the resemblance. Uh, today I'm <laughs> glad to host someone who is elder to me. Yes, Prini Julie, you're most welcome and I'm honored to host you as a psychologist. And to our dear viewers, till next time, bye-bye.